you guys. Uh, first of all, what's your relationship with the city of Boston? Our <laughs> relationship. Well, first of all, I love the people of Boston. Um, we've been here several times, but I have to say, every time I come here, I get lost. I have no idea where the hell I am. Uh, ask people like on the street where I am, and they don't really know either. <laughs> it seems like yeah. um, the people are amazing here. The shows that we've had here have been great. Um, the food here is excellent. Um, we love Beantown. Yeah, we have a lot of great friends here, and it's always like one of those stops that we look forward to on our tours. So. Sounds good. Um, can you can you describe what it's like being on tour with your longtime friends in Northland? Oh, it's been it's been really awesome. We used to play a bunch of shows with them back in the day, and it was it's been a while since we've gotten to like to do uh, shows with them. And now to have like a whole tour where we, we had nine total shows we played together, and it's uh, it's been so much fun. And uh, we've even had it set up where um, you know they we kind of have these seamless sets where they they're DJing their set and we. Uh, have Darren come up and start playing drums along with what they're spinning, and then Felix now come up and, and kind of jam with what they're doing and then go right into our set. So. Nice. Is something like that going to happen tonight? Yes. Yeah. Every night. Every night. It's been every show that's worked. And, you. you know, more than that, it's like when we started this um, in Chicago, we very much built it with Orchard Lounge. <clears throat> I mean, I'm talking like first shows out the gate, uh, five people there in Chicago, and it's us in Orchard Lounge. Yeah. And, uh, both them and us, you know, we put in our, our, our hard time on the road, you know, <laughs> yeah. and um, this whole tour has just been so incredible. Mm -hmm. um, the crowds and, and the shows and the music and the people and, I mean, it's like a reward. It does. It feels like a, a huge accomplishment and like an achievement where, like, kind of like you said, I mean, we've just been working our asses off for so many years, pushing and pushing, and like, the, this tour in particular seems to have just gone more smoothly, I think, than any we've ever done. And the shows have just been amazing. Yeah, the shows have just been off the charts, packed houses every night. I mean, yeah. it's just been, it's been amazing. Awesome. Um, do you guys write songs for yourselves or for your audience? I would say both. I would say both. I mean, ultimately, I think that both of us write stuff that we want, that we enjoy, you know, first and foremost. Mm -hmm. um, I think, though, that maybe, like, at least I can speak for myself here, when I first started writing music, I think it was really far swung to just for myself and but then you start playing songs for audiences and stuff and you kind of see how people react to stuff and I think it starts to influence a little bit how you approach writing and so you at least I think we found like a happy medium between just purely writing stuff that we we love but also writing stuff that we know is going to like get the audience into what we're doing yeah but what, what, what I enjoy with, with Future Rock is is when the collective and that that's the band and the audience are together and you know like it's everything's hitting right yeah. and it's <clears throat> you know impossible to to have that happen if you disregard the audience when you write um, <clears throat> now writing for your own sake is is a different thing um, and I'm sure that we both do that but um, maybe it's not the best thing for future rock to do yes I agree. That, that happy medium is definitely the best place to be um, do you guys prefer opening for larger acts and larger venues or packing out clubs that you're headlining? Um, I would say that I prefer doing our own show. And the reason is because we have control over the production of the show. We tour with a really large light rig. And when we open for larger acts, we don't have an opportunity to really put the show out there necessarily that we want to put out there. You the, know, the, show, the show needs to be a spectacle. Yeah. And um, sometimes when we're playing first on a bill or earlier on a bill, we don't get to do that, and that's tough. Mm -hmm. But you know, tonight we'll we'll have our full you know full light show going and get to do the show the way we want to do it in our own terms. And I think it, it always is going to end up being hey, better that way. Uh, you guys are starting the midpoint of your tour. Uh, do you plan on changing the way, the way you're doing things, or is everything going smoothly? Uh, this is actually like this. We have two more shows this tour, so we're tonight and then tomorrow in Burlington. That's really the whole tour with, with Orchard Lounge. Oh yeah. Okay. So. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, but no, I mean I, the way we have it going right now is it's been going so smoothly. I mean, sure. there's no change or anything. Sounds good. And yeah, what are your plans for after the tour? Uh, we have we have actually a bunch more shows coming up the next few weekends. We're doing um, a festival in um, Indianapolis and a show in Grand Rapids next weekend. And then the weekend after that, two really exciting shows. We're playing a pre-party for Austin City Limits down in Austin. 
and then this uh, big party uh, out in Denver at Cervantes. So, still have a ton of really fun stuff coming up in the next. <clears throat> Not only that, we're still developing more new music. Um, you know, eventually we'll get a new album out. We just released a live album, um, so we're we're gonna be busy. We've been. <laughs> We've been really busy, and we're going to keep it going. Mm -hmm. A lot of momentum right now. feel really good. Yeah, I mean, especially coming from this tour, I mean, the, the momentum that we have is just off the charts. So, you know, when, you have, when you're riding a wave like that, you really got to, like, just continue riding it out there and, and see where it goes. All right, great. Well, yeah, that's right. the kind of stuff you like to hear. Sure. Cool. All right, well, we're going to say goodbye to Felix and Mickey from Future Rock. Um, at, uh, this is brought to you by TrustTheBrain.com, the Brain Trust Events. Thank you, guys. Cool, thanks a lot, Christian. Later. Thanks, Thanks, guys.